I just realized you guys probably lo were looking at the cutoff screen because I forgot to minimize and make this screen a little bit smaller so you could actually see the full screen under the overlay. What's going on guys, Ben Glugan here. I just wanted to let you know real quick, it's with a great displeasure that I bring you this information. However, there's nothing I can do about it. I've already recorded a few episodes into the future. So for the next like two or three episodes, I think that's two or three episodes max, um, there is occasional, however I would say infrequent lag in the actual gameplay. But the gameplay is very important for the series because it's how we upgraded the team. So even though I am three or four episodes into the future from this actual video, um, the lag is fixed then. There will be somewhat infrequent um, lag. So I ask you just please bear with me. I apologize. Um, try to get the most out of it anyway if you're you know interested and you really want to follow the series because you're enjoying it. Because there are people who are just you know maybe if you'd like to skip to the end i'd prefer if you didn't so you actually saw the way things happen but if you'd like to skip to the end figure out the way things happened how we got upgrades and things like that uh but please bear with me thank you guys so much for watching it'll be fixed soon you guys are probably gonna see this exact um precursor like three times at the front of the videos so if we're at like episode four or five now no it's gonna be fixed for next episode but if it's still episode like two or three um if it's episode three definitely episode three um, by f six, it's gonna be 100% fixed, but right now, not. Probably look for episode six, it's gonna be fine. But uh, please bear with me for the next couple of episodes. I apologize, it will be fixed soon. Sorry, and uh, I guess thanks. All right, guys, what's going on? Ben Gligan here, coming back at you with another video, and welcome back to another episode of The Power of Peterson. We are coming off a gigantic win, 33-30, in which we got a ton of upgrades to use. I think it's, um... Five total upgrades, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to go back and, and check right now to be sure. But I think it's five upgrades and a skip tier upgrade, which is so big for upgrading our team. I don't know who we're going to spend it on, but I feel like the wide receivers, for the most part, have just been not that involved, so there's no reason to upgrade them. I think it's continue with the offensive line and maybe for the first time in this entire series, upgrade someone on the defense. But um, I'm going to go confirm how many upgrades we have and get back to you guys. Okay, it's actually four upgrades, and we get a skip here. So it's technically five upgrades. One of them is just huge. Um, so I don't know what we're going to do here. I think what I want to do is definitely get a better right guard and right tackle. Uh, I'm going to definitely use my upgrade, two of my four upgrades on right guard and right tackle. And then we, we could potentially use a skip tier there to get a high overall right guard. In fact... Maybe I maybe I do that. Maybe I use a skip tier on right guard. Plug in Larry Little. I, I'm just gonna check the auction block. It's the best spot. I think I'm gonna use a skip tier on offensive line and get another high overall elite. Actually, no, I can't. It would only be able to go to low elite. All right, let's just look for a. Uh, I don't know. I could look for a left tackle. Use my skip tier. Do I really want to use a skip tier on a low elite? I don't think I do. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and use it on Taylor Lewan of the Tennessee Titans. 85 strength, 86 run block, 84 pass block, and 83 impact blocking. Our current left tackle, I believe, is Luke Jokel. So, of course, we are skipping the low elite going up to mid-tier elite, which is 85 to 89. Taylor Lewan, of course, falls under that category. Spending 97,500 coins in order to get Taylor Lewan and soup up this offensive line even more. So that is our one skip tier, but now we have four basic upgrades uh, which I'm going to use, and we could stack them on one player in one position, which I actually might do on right guard. Uh, I might use two upgrades on right guard and just use my last one on right tackle to get a gold um, right tackle. Actually, no, I, I've only spent one. That was Taylor one, so I have four. So I could just stack on both of them and get, um, I guess, two low elite right, like offensive linemen and right guard and right tackle. I might have to do that. We're going to check it out. Got four upgrades. I mean, that's kind of a lot. All right, so with upgrade one of our two, or excuse me, of our four upgrades, we're going to get John Miller. 78 run block is pretty big. We're going to pick him up for the squad. So that is one upgrade down. He's going to come in and start at right guard, obviously, immediately. So that is a pretty big upgrade for us. And now we're going to go ahead and address, I believe, right tackle with a goal. And then we're going to, you know, assess where our other upgrades are overall. But making the offensive line all gold or better, I think, is a great first step. All right, so I think we're going to use it on Sean Coleman. We're going to buy him for 2,000 coins, 78 run block, 78 pass block, 80 strength, and 80 impact blocking. Good right tackle here. 
So he's going to come in and start immediately. I think I also want a new user. I mean, Joshua Perry has played very, very well for me, but we can still leave him on the field and get me a better user. We spent two upgrades so far, and uh, I think a gold middle linebacker, maybe I get a Hassan Reddick type player. I think that'd be pretty big overall. All right, so I'm going to use one upgrade on Hassan Reddick. I already have him on the team, so we're just going to go ahead and plug him in. That's going to be my user. Uh, so we have one more upgrade to get. I think I want to do... I think I want to do maybe a defensive tackle. You know, start plugging up some of these gaps a little bit. But uh, a safety also wouldn't be the worst option. We've been kind of getting beat a little bit over the top. So actually, let's try Let's see if we can get a, a decent gold safety. Buda Baker's just too low of an overall, but he could be cool. I kind of want to try out this football outsider, which actually looks really good for an 80 overall, but it's it's out of my uh, out of my range right now. I can't get it. I have to address, you know, gold before I can jump to low elite, and 80 overall, of course, is a low elite. All right, so I feel like getting some color on this team on the defense side of the ball. So I'm between two players. We got Josh Jones, who is really fast with 89 speed, although we can't really cover for anything. 65 zone, 60 man, 67 hit power. So he's not that good. And I also really like Malik Hooker, who is a bit slower with 85 speed, but he does have 71 zone coverage, um, which is at least a little bit better than 65, even though it's not fantastic. Better hit power as well. 6-2. These are just a real playmaker. I think we're going to go ahead and pick up this Malik Cooker for just over 8,500 coins. And he is our first defensive upgrade. So um, those are our upgrades used for this episode. We had a very, very productive episode last time. And let's go ahead and get this new squad in place. So at left tackle, we are, of course, adding Taylor Lawan. That is gigantic, gigantic improvement. So we're just going to basically jam the ball down that left side of the field. Let's go ahead and shove John Miller in here at right guard. And obviously, you guys saw I went with the theme of pounding the rock. Right tackle is going to be Sean Coleman. And the reason I haven't upgraded Pat Mahomes is he's played pretty well overall. I mean, he missed a throw last episode, but he's played very well. I wish stats tracked on cards so you could really tell about his averages and percentages and things like that. But he's played well overall. But now we have pound the rock tier two, which adds one trucking to Adrian Peterson, one elusiveness and one ball carrier vision, which I think is going to be pretty big overall. So he's up to 90 ball carrier vision, which doesn't really matter at all. But 83 elusiveness, 92 trucking, and out 88 juke move. I think it's pretty good. Very happy to do that. And it wouldn't be the worst idea in the future to upgrade TJ Logan, because uh, he comes on the field quite a decent bit, and he's not bad by any means. They're like, you know, he's a silver, and he can't really do anything other than run fast. So upgrading to a guy like Leonard Fournette, who's like a mini AP, wouldn't be the worst idea. All right, so now we've added Hassan Reddick into the team. I'll make him the number one over Josh Perry, who we're still going to be able to use. Actually, no, I won't, because I use her the number two spot more often than I use her the number one. So Hassan Reddick is going to come in and play right there. I think that's a really good spot for him. And then 68 Josh Jones, I didn't realize that was a thing. So we could have gotten um, the other Josh Jones, but no. We're going to go ahead and use this 77 overall Malik Hooker. And there are other gold options I could have gone with with better coverage. Um, but I think Malik Hooker is going to add something cool to our team. I think he's a really good player. And 71 zone is quite an upgrade over 57. Oh, my God. But, uh, yeah, this is the team. 71 overall Malik Hooker is our only, um, I think, team of the week player on the entire team. But he, you know, he had some color with Adrian Peterson and some of this elite offensive line. It's an interesting looking team. But with these huge upgrades being made, let's go ahead and get into this game. I'm not going to be playing it right now. Actually, you know what? Nah, I will. I will. Why not? All right, we're currently 2-2 two two on the season somehow. We've won our last two games. One via Rage Quit. One via Remarkable Comeback. We have two losses remaining. We can't afford to lose. We're going to make the playoffs because we do get a reward for making the playoffs. I think it's a skip tier if I recall. But a um, lot on the line here. Got to come out with a win. There he is. There's the boy, Adrian. I guess I'm pointing somewhere else. You guys probably want me to point this way. You can see him. Regardless, there he is. AP. What a beast. Let's get this overlay off the screen. Let's get this game rolling. I just realized you guys probably were looking at the cutoff screen because I forgot to minimize and make this screen a little bit smaller so you could actually see the full screen under the overlay. Uh, Pack Stadium. All right, there we go. Big Nick, 4576. I'm excited, man. Who do you have? Who do you have for me? 
Got a bunch of debuts being made today, Taylor Lewan being one of them. He's in our new top three. He's got Barry Sanders, Reggie White, and Randy Moss. Not a great team, but by far the worst team we've come up against so far. Is he a beast, though? I really hope not. I hope he sucks when we can just steamroll him. That would be ideal. And we get to kick off. This game is going too perfectly so far. Something's got to give. He's going to flood me. All right, Mike Vick is his quarterback. We're going to have to watch him with a QB contain. Um, and he's going to throw deep first play, and that's picked off Brandon Langley. This is a great start. I'm really hoping this guy rage quits because then we get a skip tier, which is incredibly valuable. But let's make the most out of the time that we actually do have him in the game. And uh, let's just run the ball down his throat. I was looking for a random play. I don't think I've ever called this before. But uh, here we go. Let's hope it's good. Here's Adrian. There he is. There he is. There's a spin move. Adrian Peterson first down. Let's go. Let's go to the hurry up. Make Adrian Peterson as tired as possible so he performs as worse as possible. That's obviously the look that we're going for here. 296 all-purpose yards. Adrian with the truck stick. Let's go. Wish he would have stayed in bounds. Here we go. Actually, let's run a dive. He's giving me that. He's giving me the dive. Here we go. Adrian, the truck stick. Stay up. Keep going. Adrian's such a beast. 26 rushing yards already on three attempts. Oh, he's going to that side of the field. That's a mistake. That's poor. Adrian's going to have a really easy lane here. One man to beat. Go, Adrian. Oh, I should have stiff-armed. Man, he does not like to switch on and make tackles. Not at all. I understand it, though. I mean, I would have I would have destroyed him if he had. I should have tried a special move. I just I can't just run like that. Up the middle. There we go. We're pounding the rock. I don't want Adrian coming out of the game, so we're just going to keep doing it. Pitch to Adrian Peterson. Hopefully blocking's good. And Adrian Peterson is going to have a foot race to the end zone. Stiff arm. No. Down at the three. They're going to want to take him out. I'm not having it. He's tired. I know. We got we to gotta make the most out of it. He needs the touchdown here. He needs the touchdown. It's an upgrade. I need it. Up the middle. Adrian Peterson. It just glitched me. Yo, I had an easy touchdown. It's suctioned me to the hole that wasn't open. What is that? Let's run it again. Give it to me here. Blocking's good. Adrian, up the middle. Hurry up, please. You can't take Adrian out of the game. I need him. I need the upgrade. Please, up the middle. Adrian Peterson. No! He didn't get it. I'm doing it again. Pete, oh my god. If I don't get the touchdown here, I'm going to be so upset. We're going to go this way. Up the middle. Adrian Peterson. Touchdown. We got the upgrade. Thank you. Thank you. That was almost really, really bad. But it's what we got. We needed it. We got the upgrade. Adrian Peterson is well on his way to 296 all-purpose yards. I can do it. I don't know. That's actually like a lot. Can we pitch to the right? We're all over that. Great tackle. Man, Joshua Perry just makes plays. Don't let Joshua Perry get a Team of the Week card or Football Outsider because he will be added onto the team no matter what. He's been playing so well. Good stop. Is that Joshua Perry making the knockdown? Yo, this Joshua Perry card, low-key on steroids. That card is roided up. He makes so many plays. All right, here we go. AP. Got to continue to pound the rock with him. There's a hole. Man. I got to forget that he doesn't switch on. Why do I keep going to the hurry up? I, I just got to power through or spin out. Something like that. We're going to run the same exact play, though. There's blocking. Adrian, decent gain, already at 81 yards on the day. This is the kind of game that we needed. This is a ton of upgrades incoming. Especially if we can get, what is it, three? Three touchdowns, I think is, is a big upgrade. I can't remember, I gotta check the rules. Yep, three touchdowns is skipped here. We need Adrian to get in the into the end zone twice. Or excuse me, three times. Which means I gotta continue to pound the ball. That was not effective. I'm going to go over the middle. Mahomes throws an absolute strike. Braxton Miller over the middle. See, that's why I don't need to replace Pat Mahomes right now. He's just continuing to play so well. There's no reason to. We'll send him out on a route. Rolling out with Pat Mahomes. That's open. That's open. 
Oh no, did I step out of bounds shortly before the end zone? How unfortunate. Here we go. Pitch, touchdown. Adrian Peterson, let's go. That's two touchdowns. That's two upgrades automatically. If we could get that skipped here on top of the upgrades with the third touchdown, that would be incredible. There's so much time to do it. We're up 14. It's like, do I want this guy to rage quit so I can get an, a skip tier automatically? Or do I want to stay in the game and see if I can run up the stats on him? To screen. Oh, man. He got sacked immediately. Cornelius Washington. One half of the Washington wall on our defensive line. Finally coming up and making a play. I feel like Cornelius and Adolphus Washington just have not made any plays at all. They got to be the Washington wall, man. They got to make plays. I, I need branding. I need t-shirts. Throw at me. I need to lob that. All right, third and 19. That's a pick. That is Dexter McDougal. I hate the camera angle switch. I really don't want this guy to leave the game. No, don't, don't, don't leave the game. Please, stay. Okay, so that's, that is the automatic skip tier. Um, Adrian Peterson got over 100 all-purpose yards, so that is an upgrade. So we have an upgrade for the touchdown. We have another upgrade for the other touchdown. We have an upgrade for 100 all-purpose yards. I don't think he had 100 rushing yards, which kind of sucks. Very close. Can't check the stats, so we're not going to count that. Um, and we do get a skip tier for the rage quit. And we get an upgrade for the win. Or skip tier for the win, too. I forgot. So we have two skip tiers for the rage quit and the win. And we have three total upgrades from the all-purpose yards and the touchdowns. So three upgrades and two skip tiers, which equals like five upgrades. Uh, but technically like seven overall. So that's going to be a great start to next episode. This team is finally getting really good really fast. Well, not really good. We're 71 overall and, and rookie second or rookie first string. But uh, it's coming along. Going to keep addressing the defensive side of the ball. And it's going to be it's going to be a team before you know it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.